we're trying to increase how many actually show up um, the webinar. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. So email number one is uh, register no show. Email uh, and what's cool about the software that, that we use is uh, is basically um, as soon as they do anything, it tracks that. So as soon as I know, as soon as somebody um, shows up the webinar, boom, it, it adds a little tag to their name and drops them down to another list. So now they showed up. Now watch them. So they show up, they leave, they leave, they leave, and they're, if they left early, okay, we know they left early. Okay, they didn't see me um, showing the offer. So now we have a whole email sequence um, writing about about that. Okay, so what do we know about people who showed up, they left early? They didn't like it. They didn't like it, they were bored, they were interested. <coughs> came up. What's that? Lost their connection. Um, something else came in. Yeah, Russell talks too fast. It could be a million different things. Right? <laughs> Wife came to bother him. Yeah, yeah. What are you, what are you looking at? Yeah, so it could be a lot of things. So again, I create a whole sequence about that. Like, hey, I saw you, you showed the webinar, but you left early. I just want to know if something bad happens. Uh, if so, there's a replay right here. And we start, we start speaking to why they may have left. Okay, very simple. Next one, they showed up and they saw the offer. We saw offer, but they didn't buy for some reason. So why would someone show up and not buy? Okay, obviously a lot of these Cost too much, too much money. You know, there's a thousand reasons why not. So again, we create messages for that, and then fourth uh, channel is, is that they're buyers. Okay, so that's really powerful. Again, like I said, um, our uh, the software we use, the software we use can track that and just put people from segment to segment really, really easily. And so you have really powerful um, segmentation. Now, one thing we do that's kind of cool, um, especially in the, like the network marketing industry, um, with what we're doing ours, in the internet marketing world, like. Now that I'm anti-call center, I don't really call people on the phone in, in that world at all. Um, we don't we don't really collect, I mean, we collect their phone numbers, we don't really do much with it. Um, with Dotcom Secrets Local, though, we actually, uh, a little trick that we do is, is um, and I'll kind of talk about this, let's see. Um, what we do is at the end, okay, I'm going to, Timeline out our webinar. So we timeline out our webinar, right? Um, at the end of the webinar, well, at the beginning of the webinar, I'm, I'm giving you something to like stick on there, right? So if you join our Docum Series local webinar, we have this really cool software program that helps you generate local leads. Um, you just type in a, uh, a niche in a city, and boom, it gives you all these leads. People in your city who are looking for SEO work, right? Um, and so we give that software for free, but you have to watch the entire webinar. Now it's a two hour webinar, so people got to watch the entire thing. You get the thing, and then at the end of it, I say, okay, if you want the software for free, all you have to do is go to the order form and fill out step number one in the order form. The step number one asks their name, email, and phone number, and they fill that out, and, it's, and, then, and then it emails them the software, and it takes them to the actual order page. And a lot of people now, they obviously don't buy it, but now we've got their name, email, and phone numbers. Now we have someone in the office just call them up, hey, you saw that you watched the entire two-hour webinar with Russell. You're probably sold, but for some reason you didn't buy it. Do you have any questions, any reasons why you didn't buy it? And it's like the easiest lay-down sales in the world. Okay, we've got two people in our office just dialing these people all day long, and they're averaging 10, 15, 20 sales a week without even doing anything. Because I sold that person for two hours on the webinar. It's usually like they got one question or you know, one concern, and they just answer that one question, and boom, no, those people are in. Okay, so that's one kind of tricky thing you can do as well with the segmentation is, is uh, you can get phone numbers. So I can get phone numbers of people that showed up, people that, that showed, said the offer, people that just registered. And uh, that's the way, if, if you are a network marketer who likes to be on the phone, it's an easy way to get leads, but also, you're not just calling, like, here's everyone who, who signed up for my, for my landing page. I'm only calling people who sat there and watched my webinar for an hour. I'm only calling, you know, you can break it up. Here's your A leads, here's your B leads, and here's your C leads. So these are the guys who are your golden people. They've already sat through an hour presentation. They know that just, I just got to go in and answer some questions. Here are the people that saw part of it, but they failed early, so I just need to get on there, get them to finish watching the webinar, or see people that show up. These are kind of your colder leads. Okay, I know people who do dialing, usually you're calling just these kind of leads, people who opt into a form. And that's a cold lead. I'd much rather call someone after they sat through an hour long webinar or two hour long webinar. Would you guys? Yeah, yeah it's a lot easier. Okay, um, so that's kind of the, the process. Um, you know, we have a lot more things we do as well. Like, this, these are usually like a seven day sequence, really hard and heavy on, on what, you know, why they weren't there. And then from there, we kind of, it's like seven days, like every single day, day one, day two, day three, all the way for seven days. And then at that point, we kind of start staggering them more and just try to give them more education because there's a reason why they didn't buy. So usually at that point, I'm not so much hard selling them, it's more like kind of stepping back and like just educating and trying to get them to feel more confident to me and those type of things. Yeah?
show you guys that here in a minute, and then if you guys are interested in using ours, if not, there's other ones out there that do similar things as well. So, any other questions about the process of this? On uh, B and C, uh, like the ones that stayed and listened for like uh, less than, or only if they listened for like an hour, you call them back. The ones that never showed up, do you ever call them on telephone or no? Um, if I wanted to build a big call center again, I would, but I have no, so, right. yeah, we have enough of these leads um, to keep our two people busy forever. So, yeah, if I want to go hard for again, I would, but way too late. <laughs> so, but, but you do call them if they're down over an hour, and you do call them by telephone or no? Uh, yeah, a lot of times. Like, we, uh, we pull the leads, and sometimes we, we just don't have time to get everyone. So, I mean, if, we, if I want to hire a bunch of people, we get everyone. But, yeah, they basically go through the A leads first, people who actually saw the offer and didn't buy. And then, if not, they just move to the B ones and C ones. We usually have enough A ones that, I mean, they're hot leads that all the time, and they love them. The thing about these kind of leads, though, is you've got about 24 to 48 hours to, to call them. You miss that window, they're, they're pretty much dead. So it's kind of a consistent thing, which is nice. You set this thing up, <clears throat> and you drive solo ads, and you drive people through this funnel. Um, again, some people are just going to sign up all by themselves and do nothing for it. And there's going to be people who don't. So it's just like consistently, you know, you might trickle in 20 or 30 leads a day here. You're just calling those people, closing them, and, and it's kind of a nice, you know, consistent process. Yeah? What about interactivity during the webinar? Do you do anything to keep them entertained? Or, I mean, aside from the webinar? Watching the replay right now option, you're still sending them the videos afterwards, the pre-frame videos. Yeah, yeah. This is the sequence they get no matter what. No matter what. Yeah, because again, even if someone watches the webinar, they see this, it's going to strengthen the sell or it's going to make them more likely to want to buy. So, so, do you not have call to actions on those videos then? Uh, the call to action is if you haven't watched the webinar, you go check it out. Okay. Yeah, that's all it is. Okay, so one thing we'll talk about: so how do we make this duplicatable? Okay, because that's obviously a big thing. Um, so we've been again.